Good morning. Good morning to you. To you. It's Friday. Hot dog day. No, it's not hot dog day. Well, what day would it be then? <laughs> Happy Friday, guys! Today we're going to be doing a different story. Um, maybe this story will be about... Monkeys! Should we do a story about monkeys? No? Hmm. How about another story about pigs? <laughs> no, we already did pigs? Alright. Should we do bears again? No? Hmm. I got it! Lions! Roar! No? Then what story would we do? Then how about we do the story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff? Have you ever heard of it? No? Yeah? I think you guys will like it. Let's check it out. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goat brothers. And their names were Gruff. All three of them. Weird, right? But whatever. So there was a little Billy Goat Gruff. There was a medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff. And there was a large Billy Goat named Gruff. And they've been walking around for a while looking for some delicious green grass to munch on. And they were pretty hungry. Pretty soon, those Gruff brothers came across a big river. And they could see on the other side of that river was a green meadow with the most delicious green grass and flowers any goat could possibly want to eat. Oh, it looked so good, but how are they going to get across? They can't swim. Ooh, what do you think they're going to do? So they decided they were going to take a walk further down the river to see if there was any way they could get across. Well, sure enough, just a little ways down, they came across a bridge. How lucky is that? Now they can get across and get that delicious grass. But there was one thing those goats didn't know about. Me! I'm the troll that lives under the bridge. And I love goats. So that first little goat decided he was going to go first. And he started across the bridge. And as he started walking, his hooves made a flip-clop, 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 flip-clop sound. Do you hear that? Who's that clip clopping across my bridge? I'm gonna go check this out right now. <gasps> A delicious little goat. I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no! Please don't eat me. I'm just a little goat. My brother's coming across the bridge after me, and he's much bigger. You should eat him instead. Hmm. A bigger goat? I like the way that sounds. Get out of here, little goat. I'm going to wait for your bigger brother. Oh, man, I'm not waiting around for this. And that little goat ran right across the bridge. But now, it's the medium goat's turn to go across the bridge. So he started across. And his hoofs made a sound on the bridge, too. And it was much louder than the little goat's sound. It went clip-clop, 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 clip-clop. 
You hear that? That must be the bigger goat. I'm gonna go check this out. Roar! Hey there, bigger goat. Your little brother said you were coming. I let him go because he said you were bigger. So I'm gonna gobble you up. Bigger than you? I'm pretty hungry. Sounds good. Get out of here, medium goat. I'm gonna wait for your big brother. Sounds good. I'm out of here. And the medium-sized goat ran across the bridge as fast as he could to the other side to join his little brother eating the green, green grass. But now, it's the Big Billy Goat Gruffs turned across the bridge, and he started across, and his hoofs made an even louder sound going across the bridge. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. <gasps> Do you guys hear that? That must be the biggest billy goat gruff and thank goodness cuz i'm starving i'm gonna go get him roar big billy goat gruff i let your little brother go cuz he was too small i let your medium sized brother go because he was too small but i'm not letting you go big guy i'm hungry come here roar of you, troll! And the big billy goat gruff took a few steps back, lowered his big billy goat gruff head, and started to run at the troll! And with his horns, he booted him straight up into the air! you guys like the story about the three billy goats gruff? Yeah? Awesome. I'm glad you did. I had fun making it. So right now, what do you say you help me with a little lesson? Yeah? So I should make a worksheet up here right here. <laughs> All right. In this worksheet, I want to work on placement. Can you guys help me with putting the goats in the right place? Good job. All right, let's get started. Okay, perfect. So if I say, can you put the goat on top of the bridge, where would you put him? Take your finger and point to where you would put the goat if I said on top of the bridge. Good job! That's exactly where he goes. Let's put that goat there. Good job, guys. All right, how about if I said, put the goat under the bridge? Can you do that? Put your finger there. Good job, guys! That's under the bridge. Let's put the goat there. Good job! All right, so let's clear off these goats. Bye, goats. Okay, and now I'm going to ask you to show me where you would put the goat 
if I said next to the bridge? Where would you put the goat if I said next to the bridge? Hey, good job, guys. And you could see that was a trick question because you could do it on either side. So if you pointed to either this side or that side, you're right. And you did a super job. All right. You guys did a super job with some of that easy placement. And I want you to keep practicing at home because it's really important to know your placement words like above, below, next to, under, over. I want you to practice those words. They're really important. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. So before I send you on over to go see what the awesome activity and story that Miss Sandra has, I want to let you guys know, that's right, that I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you guys again and have a wonderful, fantastic, super awesome weekend. Love you. Good morning, my little tornadoes. Happy Friday. Can you believe this, guys? It's raining again. It has been raining and raining. You want to help me see rain, rain go away? Okay. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day, little tornado want to play, rain, rain, go away. I have an idea guys, now that it's raining, what if we prepare a delicious snack using a clementine? You want to help me with that? It's going to be delicious. These are the things that we're going to be using for our delicious snack today guys. We're going to be using a clementine but we have to peel it so it's going to look like this we're going to be using blue m&ms let's see how many blue m&ms i got one two three four five six six blue m&ms and one red m&m a twizzler mm, delicious candy and please i have this one like this but we're gonna cut little pieces of it i cut i cut one two three four five six and seven but this one look it's a little bit longer than the rest of them okay so after you peel the clementine i'm going to put this one away and we're going to be using this one the one that is ready after you peel the clementine we're gonna use it like this on the plate whoops Look at what I did, guys, with the clementine. I cut half of it, and then I used the pieces of the twizzlers that I told you, and it looks like wood, like an umbrella. Now, the red M, and then we're going to put it up here as decoration. Ooh. And the blue ones, this one, we're going to put it away, maybe to the side. And the blue ones, we're going to use them like the rain, so you can spread them around. And this is going to be our delicious and healthy snack for a rainy day. Enjoy your snack, guys, and have a great weekend. See you on Tuesday.